China has reportedly conducted multiple successful tests of hypersonic weapons, with one notable test in 2021 involving a hypersonic glide vehicle, HGV, that flew at speeds exceeding Mach 5 and demonstrated the ability to evade advanced missile defense systems. According to U.S. intelligence reports, this particular test showcased China's rapid advancements in hypersonic technology, leaving military analysts concerned about the potential for these weapons to upend global strategic stability. The implications are profound. Hypersonic missiles can strike targets anywhere in the world within minutes, rendering existing early warning systems nearly obsolete and increasing the risk of miscalculation or accidental escalation in a crisis. This alarming capability has sparked fears among Western powers that China could achieve a decisive military advantage, fundamentally altering the balance of power and forcing nations to rethink their deterrence strategies in an increasingly volatile security environment. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you subscribe to our channel, share, and like our video so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. China's growing missile defense capabilities represent a critical dimension of its broader military modernization efforts, aimed at countering both regional and global threats. While Beijing has invested heavily in systems like the HQ-19, often compared to the US Patriot system, and the SC-19 anti-satellite missile interceptor, these defenses are primarily designed to address traditional ballistic missile threats. However, the emergence of hypersonic weapons, capable of traveling at speeds greater than Mach 5 and executing unpredictable maneuvers, poses an unprecedented challenge to even the most advanced missile defense systems. Hypersonic glide vehicles, HGVs, and hypersonic cruise missiles can evade existing radar and interception technologies, significantly compressing response times for decision makers. When combined with China's expanding nuclear arsenal, which includes advancements in multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRVs, and submarine-launched ballistic missiles, SLBMs, the threat landscape becomes far more complex. This convergence of hypersonic speed, maneuverability, and nuclear capability creates a triple threat scenario that challenges the effectiveness of current missile defense architectures worldwide. Hypersonic glide vehicles, HGVs, and hypersonic cruise missiles can evade existing radar and interception technologies, significantly compressing response times for decision makers. When combined with China's expanding nuclear arsenal, which includes advancements in multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRVs, and submarine-launched ballistic missiles, the threat landscape becomes far more complex. This convergence of hypersonic speed, maneuverability, and nuclear capability creates a triple-threat scenario that challenges the effectiveness of current missile defense architectures worldwide. The implications of this technological leap are profound. It undermines the deterrence framework based on mutually assured destruction, complicates arms control negotiations, and raises the specter of a new arms race. For nations seeking to counter such threats, developing reliable detection, tracking, and interception systems for hypersonic weapons remains a formidable technical and financial hurdle. Meanwhile, the dual-use nature of some hypersonic technologies, as both conventional and nuclear delivery platforms, further exacerbates ambiguity and escalatory risks in a crisis. As China continues to enhance its strategic toolkit, the international community faces urgent questions about how to adapt to this shifting paradigm without destabilizing global security further. Traditional missile defense systems, such as the US Patriot, Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense, or Israel's Iron Dome, are designed primarily to counter ballistic missiles, which follow predictable parabolic trajectories after their initial boost phase. These systems rely on advanced radar and satellite tracking to detect incoming threats early, calculate their flight paths, and deploy interceptors to destroy them mid-course or during their terminal descent. However, hypersonic missiles, both hypersonic glide vehicles and hypersonic cruise missiles, introduce a new set of challenges that render these traditional defenses largely ineffective. Limitations of traditional missile defense systems 1. Predictable trajectories Traditional missile defense is optimized for countering ballistic missiles, which travel along fixed, high-altitude arcs that can be tracked using ground-based radars and space-based sensors. In contrast, hypersonic weapons can maneuver unpredictably throughout their flight, making it nearly impossible to anticipate their exact target or path. 2. Speed and timing 
Hypersonic missiles travel at speeds exceeding Mach 5, drastically reducing the time available for detection, tracking, and interception. By the time a traditional missile defense system identifies and engages a hypersonic threat, the weapon may have already reached its target. 3. Altitude and Detection Gaps Unlike ballistic missiles, which reach outer space during their mid-course phase, hypersonic weapons often fly within the upper atmosphere, between 20 to 80 kilometers altitude. This gray zone lies below the optimal range of most space-based sensors and above the effective range of many ground-based radars, creating gaps in detection and tracking. 4. Maneuverability. Hypersonic glide vehicles detach from their rocket boosters and glide through the atmosphere at extreme speeds while executing sharp, irregular maneuvers. This ability to change course mid-flight makes it difficult for traditional interceptors, which are programmed to hit targets moving along predictable paths, to lock onto and neutralize them. Unique challenges posed by hypersonic missiles. 1. Evasion of early warning systems. Hypersonic weapons operate in a way that bypasses existing early warning architectures. For example, over-the-horizon radars and satellite constellations struggle to continuously track maneuvering HGVs because they exploit blind spots in sensor coverage. This reduces the reaction time for decision-makers and increases the likelihood of successful strikes. 2. Ambiguity and Intent Many hypersonic systems are dual-use, meaning they can carry either conventional or nuclear payloads. This ambiguity complicates response strategies. If a hypersonic missile is detected, defenders cannot easily determine whether it carries a tactical warhead or a strategic nuclear device. Such uncertainty raises the risk of miscalculation and escalation. 3. Overwhelming Defenses the combination of speed, maneuverability, and low-altitude flight allows hypersonic missiles to overwhelm layered defense systems. Even if an interceptor successfully locks onto a hypersonic target, the sheer velocity of the weapon leaves little margin for error, making interception highly improbable with current technology. 4. Technological Arms Race the development of hypersonic capabilities has sparked a global arms race, with countries like China, Russia, and the United States racing to both field offensive hypersonic weapons and develop countermeasures. However, creating effective defenses against hypersonic threats requires breakthroughs in areas such as directed energy weapons, advanced space-based sensors, and artificial intelligence-driven tracking algorithms, all of which remain years away from full operational deployment. Nearly a decade has passed since the PLA began implementing President Xi Jinping's ambitious plan to modernize the world's largest military. As part of our ongoing series on Chinese weapon systems, we turn our attention to China's latest anti-ballistic missile system, the Hongqi-19, HQ-19. After 14 years of rigorous testing, the HQ-19 has been unveiled as a cutting-edge system capable of intercepting threats both beyond Earth's atmosphere and within it including those traveling at hypersonic speeds. Dubbed the Red Flag 19, this system is being compared to the U.S. Army's Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, THOD, a stalwart of American missile defense since its development in the 1990s. However, Chinese state media and military analysts suggest that the HQ-19 could surpass THOD in several key areas. Designed to defend Chinese territory against high-altitude ballistic missile threats, Potentially armed with nuclear warheads, the HQ-19 represents a significant leap forward in Beijing's missile defense capabilities. Here's what we know about the HQ-19 following its debut at the Zhuhai Air Show in November 2024, and how it stacks up against THAAD. Technological Advancements Both the HQ-19 and THAAD rely on hit-to-kill technology, which uses kinetic energy rather than explosive warheads to destroy targets. This approach is particularly effective against short- and medium-range ballistic missiles, relying on precise tracking and interception. While China has not released detailed specifications for the HQ-19, it shares a similar architecture with THAAD, combining advanced radar systems with interceptor missiles to detect, track, and neutralize threats. However, there are indications that the HQ-19 may outperform its American counterpart in certain respects. For instance, THOD can intercept targets at ranges of approximately 200 kilometers, 124 miles, and altitudes of up to 150 kilometers. 
In contrast, some analysts speculate that the HQ-19's maximum range and altitude could exceed these figures significantly. According to a January report in the Chinese military magazine Weapons Engineering Technology, the HQ-19's maximum operational altitude may reach between 500 and 600 kilometers. This enhanced capability stems from its superior closing speed, the rate at which the interceptor closes in on its target, enabled by a more efficient two-stage launcher and advanced rocket fuel. State media reports have confirmed that the HQ-19 is also capable of countering HGVs operating within the atmosphere, a feature that sets it apart from THAAD. Hypersonic weapons, known for their extreme speed, low-altitude flight paths, and unpredictable trajectories, pose significant challenges for traditional missile defense systems. While the HQ-19's ability to intercept hypersonic threats appears limited to short- to medium-range Waverider missiles, this capability underscores China's growing expertise in addressing one of the most complex modern military challenges. Operational Differences The HQ-19 is believed to focus primarily on intercepting incoming missiles during their mid-course phase, the portion of their trajectory where they travel through space, rather than during the terminal or re-entry phase targeted by THAAD. If accurate, this distinction highlights China's progress in mastering exo-atmospheric interception under challenging conditions, such as high speeds and variable trajectories in space. Anti-ballistic missile systems like the HQ-19 are typically integrated into multi-tiered national defense networks alongside other surface-to-air systems. For example, the US pairs THAAD with the Patriot system, while China integrates the HQ-19 with its HQ-9 system to provide layered protection across different altitudes. A Pentagon report from last year noted that China is advancing its ballistic missile defense capabilities with both exo-atmospheric and endo-atmospheric kinetic energy interceptors. The report highlighted successful tests of the HQ-19 against ballistic missiles with ranges of up to 3,000 kilometers and suggested that China is developing mid-course interceptors potentially capable of countering intermediate range and even intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs. Design and Deployment The HQ-19's launch platform is an eight-wheel drive high-mobility truck equipped with six interceptor missiles. Each missile measures about 50 centimeters, 19.7 inches, in diameter and 7 meters, 23 feet, in length, slightly larger than THAAD's interceptors, which are 37 centimeters in diameter and 6.17 meters long. In a November interview with state broadcaster CCTV, Chinese military analyst Du Wenlong emphasized the HQ-19's versatility noting its ability to fire at near-vertical angles and rotate 360 degrees in any direction. This design contrasts with THAAD, which launches missiles at lower angles requiring additional adjustments. Du also highlighted the HQ-19's use of cold launch technology, which propels the missile into the air using an auxiliary power system before igniting its engine. This method is safer, more efficient, and allows for larger payloads compared to traditional hot launch systems. The HQ-19's propulsion reportedly relies on N-15B fuel, a nitrate-based rocket propellant described as much more powerful than regular fuel. Additionally, the system employs a phased array radar mounted on a separate truck, with an estimated detection range of up to 4,000 kilometers. While online speculation suggests the HQ-19 might utilize a combination of 610A information radar and 780 guidance radar, Analysis from weapons engineering technology indicates it will likely employ a single X-band radar, similar to THAAD. China's unveiling of the HQ-19 marks a significant step forward in its efforts to counter increasingly sophisticated missile threats, including hypersonic weapons. Though questions remain about its full capabilities and limitations, the system demonstrates Beijing's determination to close the technological gap with the United States and assert itself as a leader in missile defense technology. As the global arms race intensifies, the HQ-19 serves as a reminder of the rapidly evolving nature of warfare, and the urgent need for innovative solutions to address emerging threats. Whether it can truly rival or surpass THAAD remains to be seen, but one thing is clear. The HQ-19 is a formidable addition to China's growing arsenal. If you like the content in this episode, please also check out other videos on this channel and subscribe for more updates on China's military advancements and developments. That's all we have for now, 
and thank you for tuning in.